Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Dylan here. Well, Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka Trump, just dropped a bombshell that you do not want to miss, all right? Ivanka Trump just made one of the biggest moves to help her father, Donald J. Trump, help win the 2024 election, all right? We've seen Donald Trump's children and family really come out and support him lately. I mean, everybody from all corners of the world are coming out and becoming, uh, you know, really MAGA. But Donald Trump's family, especially lately, we've seen Donald Trump Jr. really come out and ferociously back and support his father, Donald J. Trump. We've seen Baron Trump start coordinating these massive interviews with young uh, influencers, social media stars. Baron Trump is actually giving his father uh, advice. Donald Trump's actually, you know, asked his son Baron to help him. Uh, hey, who are these social media stars that I should be, uh, you know, doing interviews with? And Baron Trump's helping get that popularity of the young people that Trump needs. We've seen Eric Trump as well doing his thing, leading the business, doing these epic interviews, getting the truth out there. Uh, Tiffany Trump, Michael Bulow, Laura Trump. I mean, the whole Trump family, but Ivanka Trump and Melania Trump. We've seen Melania Trump. I mean, everybody. It's like we're a little over a month away and people are coming out to throw their hat in to help save America, all right? Before we dive into this update from Ivanka Trump, we're going to read the Bible and we are going to pray because God comes first. Amen. Comment amen down below, my friends, if you believe God comes first. All right. And I think Ivanka Trump would also like if we read the Bible because I know that she is a very, very godly woman. Okay, here we go. This is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Comment amen down below, my brothers and sisters. Let us remember right now that even though we might feel like we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, we do not need to fear any evil. It says in scripture, I believe 365 times, do not fear, do not be afraid. One time for every day of the year. God tells us in scripture, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So do not fear. All right, guys, let's dive in. Let's bring on Ivanka Trump. I'm really, really excited about today's video, guys. So we do have breaking news. Ivanka Trump is helping the Hurricane Helen victims. Let's tune in, guys. There's Ivanka Trump and the family members. They are delivering Starlink. This is Elon Musk's Wi-Fi company. So Elon Musk and Ivanka Trump are teaming up to help the victims. The daughter of US uh, for, of Donald Trump, Ivanka, has been praised for helping uh, donate Hurricane Helen aid to victims. This is massive news and a really good help. Ivanka flew in to help deliver 300 Starlink devices. That's the Wi-Fi company that Elon Musk created, all right? They're all friends, guys, and they're all helping. These are the people that are actually going out to help. Have you guys seen Kamala Harris and Joe Biden helping these victims? I don't know, maybe they are, I haven't seen that. What I do see, though, is I see Elon Musk, I see Donald John Trump, and I see Ivanka Trump helping. The Starlink devices will help numerous victims hit by Helen to connect to high-speed internet. That's really cool. 
It's so sad what's going on there. I believe over 100 people died from this hurricane. A video of Ivanka's help was posted to X with social media users praising the mother of three. Yeah, she is a mother right now, guys. She has a family, but she wants to help out as much as I can. One user commented, Ivanka is incredible. <clears throat> See if we have any other comments. Somebody said she always helps out in and also helps out in Hawaii forest fires. Media doesn't even acknowledge what she does for everyone. Yep, she doesn't, she doesn't, this is not a photo op. These are just random, you know, photos and videos people took. Every American that can help should help. Bravo Ivanka Trump for stepping up. We need all hands on deck. Um, according to the Charlotte Observer, Medicorp coordinated Ivanka's visit and is one of four organizations running relief operations. Guys, this is far different than the videos you will see of Oprah Winfrey going to Hawaii to help serve. They, she brings a whole camera crew in. They would document her giving, oh, little pillows and stuff. I mean, this is vastly different. I, I just, I have to show you guys this, this footage because it's uh, really disgusting what types of people you see, you know, when you see the liberals and the Democrats helping out this one, I mean, she's like filming herself. She wants people to see what she's doing. I mean, she makes her money giving people, giving stuff away. She literally made money by giving away cars, which ended up being massive tax liabilities to, to poor people. When you don't know what to do, you do whatever you can. And that is what Oprah Tight out supplies. I actually need to go more constantly. Got pillows. Shampoo. She's like talking to the press, talking and to the media. What she? I wouldn't be surprised if she brought a little camera crew in as well. It's like, and then they filmed this video with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. The oh yeah. Reflecting on the devastation of the fires. Oprah lives here, in Maui. I was raised in these islands. My family are buried. Look at him. How sick is this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm so sad, so sad. <laughs> oh yeah, Oprah Winfrey, I have a multi, we have multi-million dollar mansions here, guys. Oh, <laughs> so hard for us, it's so hard. What a joke. Ivanka Trump, uh, she's helping distribute hot meals, fresh produce, and emergency supplies to devastated families in the region. She helped alongside her city serve team and nonprofits including Love, Mercy, Love, Life, and Mercy chefs. chefs. Donate today. I mean, this is vastly different than what you see Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I mean, these people are so incredibly grateful to Ivanka. Look at this, guys. Hey, this is my, my go-to gal right here. Okay, perfect. Go-to gal. It's my go-to gal. Hey, look, we've been everywhere. We've been to Amazing. She's so humble. You can tell she's like, <laughs> she's like, don't give me too much credit. Oprah, on the other hand, is like, it's all about me. It's all about me. Partnership here with CityServe and with Ivanka and all that God has done in and through you is just amazing. Wow. Wow, that man's a pastor. And Ivanka Trump and the pastor are close friends. How cool is that, guys? Yeah. 
by being here lets them know that you're, they're not alone. That, that people love them, they're there, and they care. They're definitely not alone. There's a lot of love here. Wow. This makes you want to cry because the media, you know, continues to to put backlash on this family on on on, on Ivanka Trump and they you know, they made fun of her when she decided that she wasn't going to uh be on Trump's campaign this time around. I mean, she is a a mother of three young children. I mean, they have such a beautiful family, right? Jared Kushner the three young children. I mean, they they go to church. They're they're doing charity work with with the pastor. Ivanka Trump shared this. Celebrated my birthday this weekend, surrounded by friends and family. Here's to another year of great memories with my favorite people. And the media, you know, said, "Oh, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner aren't going to be on Trump's campaign team this year." And that it was right after Ivanka Trump's mother passed away was so sad you know she's grieving she has three young children she says I'm a mother and I want to be there for my children you know she wants to live a private life I mean not a private life but more private than you know she's a mother she's a young mother she wants to be there for her children and yet she's still taking time out of her day to help those in need I mean just being there what a humble woman she shared this. The devastation I've witnessed today in Western North Carolina was heartbreaking. Hurricane Helen brought 16 inches of water, 40 trillion gallons across its path to the region within 24 hours, wiping out homes, buildings, and sometimes whole communities. I was grateful to once again join my friends at CityServe, Love and Life, and Mercy, Mercy Chefs on their mission to deliver crucial relief to first responders and families affected by the destruction. Love and Life coordinated air rescues for stranded individuals, delivered 300 Starlings. God bless all the families and the first responders working tirelessly to aid them. These are just a few photos of Ivanka Trump. I mean, how just awesome is this woman? You know, people are asked, actually saying, oh, Elon Musk said you're most welcome. <laughs> because, of course, that's his company, Starlink. I mean, she has so much support down here. It's amazing. I'm so glad that, you know, she's somebody are giving them recognition. Ivanka Trump said, uh, is teaming up with Elon. Star Starlink terminals will now work automatically without need for payment in the areas affected by Hurricane Helen. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Looks like she just went to Paris. Looking stunning as always. She said, happy birthday to my young daughter. I mean, this is... You know, she's taken a step uh, a, a step back in the Trump campaign, but she's spreading love. She's spreading positivity. This is her and her mother. She said, she said, two years ago today, my mom passed away. I believe she was watching over my dad last night during the attempt on his life. I miss her every day and pray for the safety of the family and friends she left behind. And Ivanka Trump, she did share her reaction um, to to everything going on with her father right now i i, I wanted to uh play a little bit of, from this podcast talking about her father donald trump let's listen to this guys this just took place with lex friedman which is one of my favorite podcast hosts because he actually lets his guests talk how did life change when your father decided to run for president oh, wow everything changed you know, almost, almost overnight, we learned that he was planning to announce his candidacy two weeks before he actually did. And nothing about our lives had been constructed with politics in mind, you know, like most often when people are exposed to politics at that level, that sort of national level, there's first like, city council run <laughs> and then maybe a state level run and um, and maybe, maybe, uh, you know, Congress, Senator, um, ultimately the presidency. So it was unheard of 
to for him never to run a campaign and then run for president and and win so it was um it was an extraordinary experience there there was so much intensity and so much scrutiny and I love watching all those those that footage of Mel Gibson and all those talk show hosts of everyone saying Trump will never become president. You oh you got Trump running for president? Ha, that's a joke. They're all they're all you know Trump hating Trump on and then the next clip is Trump saying and the next president of the United States Donald J Trump. <laughs> and then that liberal woman screaming, "No! No!" Um, and, and so much noise. So that took for sure, like a moment to acclimate to, not sure I ever fully acclimated, but it, it definitely was, um, it was a super unusual experience. But I think then the, the process that unfolded over, over the next couple of years was also like the most extraordinary growth experience of my life. You know, suddenly I was going into communities that I probably never would have been to. And I was talking with people who in 30 seconds would reveal to me their deepest insecurity, their gravest fear, their wildest ambitions, all of it, with the hope that in telling me that story, it would get back to a potential future president of the United States and have impacts for their family, for their community. So the level of candor and vulnerability people have with you is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Some people actually say that maybe Ivanka Trump will run for office. Do you think Ivanka Trump could actually run for president? Stepping outside, folks, and you, in a million years, would you ever want to run for office now that you see what it's like? Oh, gosh, I don't think so. Um, it is, oof, it's tough. You know, I think um, I appreciate very much the platform and the ability to impact and create change at the highest level. You know, there are certain issues I'm so deeply passionate about as, as a woman in the workforce. Um, you know, gender but no, but no politics is so important. But yeah, no, but but running for office is not something I want to be doing. No, <laughs> no. My my father always taught me to never say never. But the last time I said no, but never say never. The headline was Ivanka wants to run for office. I'm just going to give you a no, but, uh, but you know, it's, it's, it's been inspiring to see what he's been able to do. Well, I don't know about you, but I think Ivanka Trump would make an amazing, amazing leader. I think this woman is just absolutely incredible. And now we actually have a really cool interview that I want to share with you guys. Sean Hannity with Ivanka. Let's tune in, guys. I've known you all these years. This is the first time I get down and get to sit down and interview with you. I'm excited to be here. I get very jealous seeing my brothers on all the time. So <laughs> I had to tell them I was coming on tonight. <laughs> well, listen, you come up last. Tiffany spoke. Don spoke. Eric spoke. Now you're last. A um, little pressure. Did they build a? They raised the bar high. They Don just hit it out of the park, and Eric is unbelievable, and Tiffany so articulate. I know that at 22, I cannot talk in front of an arena filled with thousands of people, knowing millions were watching at home. So I am in awe, and Melania. I mean, her yeah. poise and grace, and how well she articulated herself, and the sentiment of what she. The way they speak about each other is so loving. I, I love the way. This family, you'll notice that the way the Trump family members always speak so highly of each other. It's so refreshing and I mean, it, it, it's really symbolic of the love that exists between the Trump family and that, you know, that outwardly uh, expresses to, to our nation, that the, the love for our country. They just want to help our country. He said it was it was amazing. So it's a family affair. You know, I've known your father, interviewed your dad, and he would always walk me around and say hello to all of you, your brothers and you. And did you ever imagine all of this? Did you ever think he would do this? It's hard to imagine this experience. So in it has been unbelievable and just an incredible journey and we've all learned so much and learned so much and discovered so much about this country it's uh, been amazing one of one of the most remarkable parts about this experience for me is really traveling around the country with my father meeting people from all walks of life from all parts of our great nation and 
sort of hearing what's on their mind, seeing their excitement and their passion and their optimism. We saw the crowds. Message, yeah. and um, and also learning what their concerns are. So it it really is a mind expanding experience. There's no other there's no other way to have. You, you can't. Really you can really tell that she they actually care. They care about people's issues. They're they're really attentive, which is really refreshing as well. Because typically with politicians, they they're they're quite selfish. But with Trump and the Trump family, they're, they're selfless. They, they care about others. They care about issues of the everyday people. And that's the type of people that I, I truly do believe we need leading our country. Now, this is actually Ivanka Trump at a female empowerment conference talking about her father's uh, presidential run, her company, and female empowerment. Let's tune into this. This is absolutely amazing, my friends. Oh. So, Ivanka, are you are you happy that your father is running for president? <laughs> That's a complicated question. Um, so, happy is an interesting word. Um, I am incredibly proud of him. It's a very difficult thing to do, um, and I see now just how difficult it is. And he's achieved tremendous success. Um, he's was not a politician, he is not a politician, he's, he's, but he's really changing the dialogue and he's really disrupting the process in a very positive way. So I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly proud of him. So as a citizen, I love what he's doing. As a daughter, it's obviously more complicated um, because the level of, of interest and, um, and, and scrutiny is, is beyond anything I've, I've, I've ever experienced. And I think that's, I guess, to be expected. Um, Are you doing surprised? Well, and I couldn't be more proud of him. The it type of respect that you, you see the language in when, when Donald Trump Jr., Eric Trump, Ivanka Trump, Lara Trump, Melania, Tiffany, when they all speak about Donald Trump, the type of respect and love, you, you, you can feel it and you can also uh, hear it in the words I say, but you can also feel it in their voice, right? You have these uh, interviewers kind of trying to make a joke out of it, kind of trying to, you know, oh, our, you know, it's crazy, your father, they go, no, we're proud of him. We love it. You know, it, it's so refreshing and so cool to see that, that type of language.